listen to me very closely because you have two choices when it comes to promoting your YouTube channel. You can either use these secret websites or you can get left behind because here's the problem. With all the advice out there about growing on YouTube, it seems like every new strategy will be the next big thing that will take your channel to the next level. But that's simply not true. Here's the reality of the situation. Most of the promotion tactics that everyone swears by will not help you in any meaningful way. I mean, sure, they're cool, they're nice to have, but besides that, they're really not gonna help you. And that's probably why you haven't gotten results yet. Now, here's what I mean. A promotion strategy should either get you more views or it should save you more time. And these secret websites should make your channel growth seamless, not add complexity to it. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you the seven secret websites to do exactly that. And these aren't just any websites, these are platforms that I've personally used to grow my channel and some of my clients' channels. And trust me, if they can work for a niche like mine, they can work for yours too. But here's the kicker. It's not just about knowing these websites, it's about knowing how to use them effectively. And that's why I'm not just gonna list off these websites, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to leverage each one for maximum impact impact. We're talking real actionable strategies that you can implement today to start driving views to your channel. Now, before we dive in, if you're finding value in this video, make sure to hit that like button because it really helps the channel and I appreciate your support. So our first website is going to be Quora. Now you might be thinking, Shane, Quora, really? But hear me out. Quora is a gold mine for niche audiences, especially in spaces like remote work, side hustles, and pretty much any topic that you can think of. And here's why Quora is so powerful. It's where people go when they have questions. And guess what? Your YouTube videos are the answers they're looking for. But you can't just drop links and expect magic to happen. You need a strategy. So Kenneth, for instance, uses Quora strategically to promote his YouTube channel, Tall Guy Films, without being overly promotional. And he basically answers questions related to film and programming, which align with his YouTube content. And when relevant, he links to specific videos that provide more in-depth information on the topic. Now, he also includes a link to his channel in his Quora profile bio. And this approach has been successful, with Quora generating about 8% of his channel views, a significant amount considering 60% come from YouTube and Google searches. Now, the secret to using this website and all of the other platforms and websites on this list is to not just try to get the most views, just try to get the most random people to click on your YouTube videos. The secret is to get the right people to click on your videos because this is going to train the algorithm to show your channel to the right type of people that you actually want the algorithm to show your channel to. Remember, we're beginning with the end in mind and you want to pick a specific niche. So let's just say, for instance, that you are a career coach Coach and you teach people how to get into cybersecurity related jobs. You do not want just anybody out there clicking on your channel. You want people that are interested and actively trying to get into cybersecurity jobs because those are the types of people who would be your ideal clients. So you'd want to answer the right Quora questions with the right type of content that is gonna attract those people to click on the link and go to your YouTube video. So here's the steps to use Quora effectively. And if you do this correctly with Quora or any of the other ones on this list, it's going to speed up your channel growth exponentially at the beginning because usually it takes months and months for the algorithm to figure out what type of people actually wanna view your content. And this is exactly what I did at the beginning of my first channel. I shared a bunch of my videos to relevant forums and subreddits and I got the right people clicking on my videos and going to my channel. And every time the right person goes to your channel, that is going to program the algorithm faster and it's going to start showing your videos to the right people again and again and again. So what are the steps to use Quora effectively? Well, one, you want to set up your profile and you want to make sure that your profile screams authority in your niche. So add a professional photo, write a compelling bio that mentions your YouTube channel and list your areas of expertise. Then you want to find relevant questions. So use Quora's search function to find relevant questions related to your video topics. Don't just look for exact matches. Think about related topics and pain points your audience might have. And by the way, all of these websites can be great places to find the right video ideas as well. And then step three, provide value-packed answers. Here's where the magic happens. Write detailed, insightful answers to these questions and don't hold back. Give away your best stuff. The goal is to position yourself as an expert. Finally, step four, integrate your video once you've provided value. Mention that you have a video that goes even deeper into the topic. Don't just drop a link, explain what additional value they'll get from watching your video. And then step five, engage and build relationships. Don't just answer and run. Stick around and respond to comments and engage with other answers. The more active you are, the more visibility that you'll get. Now, a pro tip here is to use Quora's 
answer wiki feature. If you provide a top answer to a popular question, it might get added to the answer wiki, giving you long-term visibility. Now remember, consistency is key on Quora. Make it a habit to answer a few questions each week, and you'll start to see a steady stream of viewers coming to your channel. Next up, we have one of my absolute favorites, which is Reddit. Now, I know what you're thinking. Reddit hates self-promotion, and you're 100% right. But that's why it's so effective when you do it correctly. Reddit can be a goldmine of engaged niche audience members if you know how to tap into it. Now, this is another example of how going niche can be the best thing to possibly do, because if you try to post your videos to a mass market sort of general subreddit that has millions of people following, you're almost guaranteed to get your content taken down. However, if you have a niche audience like this political psychology YouTuber who found that half of their 1300 plus subscribers came from Reddit, then this can be a really good idea. See, Redditors aren't there for fluff. They want solid, informative content, and this creator's channel hits that sweet spot. And they're not just dropping links, they're engaging in discussions, providing value, and letting their expertise shine. And one thing I've noticed is a lot of trends on the internet, especially ones that are in the education niche, almost always start on Reddit, and then they move to the other platforms. So Reddit can be a great place to pick up on trends before they get big. Just to give an example, Dopamine Detox was something that started on Reddit, and then it moved to the other platforms. And now there's so many videos that have millions of views that that are on dopamine detox. Now the key here is to match your content to what Reddit craves. If you've got a niche that's all about in-depth info, Reddit could be your secret weapon. Now just remember on Reddit, you're not there to entertain, you're there to inform. So nail that and you could see your subscriber count take off. So here's how to use Reddit effectively. Step one, choose the right subreddits. Start by finding subreddits related to your niche. Use the search function and look for communities with active discussions. So if I were doing this with a brand new channel for my remote work content, I would focus on subreddits like r slash digital nomad and r slash freelance. Step two, become a valuable community member before you even think about sharing your content. Spend time engaging in these communities, right? Comment on posts, share insights, and help others. Build a reputation as a helpful, knowledgeable member. Step three, understand each subreddit's rules. Every subreddit has its own rules about self-promotion. Some allow it, some don't. Some have specific days for self-promotion. Ocean, so read and follow these rules religiously. Now a secret here guys, and this one is going against the rules, but I'm just going to say it because I've seen so many people do it is sometimes you can pretend to be another person and then promote yourself. Okay, so you could basically pretend to be another person and just be like, Oh, wow, this guy gives really good advice on, you know, political psychology or remote jobs, and you basically just promote yourself. Okay, so lots and lots of people have done that. Um, I know it's, you know, technically against the rules, but good job me. I'm just giving you guys the facts. And then step four, create value added posts when you do share your content. So don't just drop a link, create a text post that provides value on its own, summarize key points from your video, share your insights, and then encourage discussion, and then tell them that they can dive deeper if they wanna click on the video. And to add to that, there's basically a method called Trojan horsing, which is basically where you give a bunch of value in your post, and then you figure out how to sort of integrate the video into your post in a way that doesn't seem like it's promotion. And then step five is to use strategic timing. So pay attention to when your chosen subreddits are most active and then post during these peak times as it can increase your visibility. And then step six, engage with comments. Once you've shared a post, stay active in the comments, respond to questions, provide additional insights and be a part of the conversation. Now, a pro tip here is to consider hosting an Ask Me Anything session in a relevant subreddit. This can be a great way to showcase your expertise and subtly promote your channel. Now, remember on Reddit, it's all about being a genuine part of the community. If you're just there to drop links, you'll get shut down fast. But if you're there to add value and engage in real discussions, you can build a loyal following that will gladly check out your YouTube content. Now, by the way, if you don't think your content is good enough or you don't think you're coming up with really good video ideas, which is incredibly important, I actually do have a YouTube crash course, which I can put down in the description and the pinned comment below. It's completely free. That will basically tell you all the things you need to know in order to get started and start growing your YouTube channel. And these are the most important lessons I learned from growing YouTube from zero to making over 100K per month. Now let's move on to our third secret weapon. And this one is especially good if you're a female watching this, and that is Pinterest. And you might be thinking, Shane, isn't that just for recipes and do-it-yourself stuff? Actually, there's a lot more stuff on there as well. So Pinterest is a visual search engine and it's perfect for promoting your YouTube content regardless of your niche. And Jana Media demonstrates the power of Pinterest for driving YouTube traffic through a client case study. They basically created pins that link directly to YouTube videos and one particular pin generated 32,000 impressions and drove more than 1,000 visits to a YouTube video. And this was over a six month period. So Jana highlights Pinterest's longevity factor and a single pin can continue to appear in relevant searches and feeds for months or even years. And this can provide passive traffic and visibility to YouTube content long after it's 
initially posted. So yeah, Pinterest can be a really good one, but the next one is gonna be even better and that is Medium. So this platform is perfect for expanding on your video content and attracting a more professional audience. So it's especially powerful if your YouTube channel covers topics like business, technology, or personal development. Take Nicholas Cole, for example. He built a significant following on Medium, which helped him launch his writing career. Now here's how you can leverage this platform. If you can build even a modest following of 500 readers on Medium, that's 500 potential YouTube subscribers. And even if only 10% of them check out your channel, that's 50 new viewers who are already interested in your content. And when it comes to making sales, it's all about creating multiple touch points with your audience across platforms. So this is how you can use Medium effectively to boost your YouTube channel. Step one, create a compelling profile. Set up a Medium profile that showcases your expertise and mention your YouTube channel in your bio. Step two, write articles that complement your videos. So expand on topics from your videos or cover related subjects. This gives your audience a reason to check out both your written and video content. Step three, embed your YouTube videos. Use Medium's embedding features to include YouTube videos directly in your articles. Step four, use strategic formatting and relevant tags. Make your articles easy to read with headers and bullet points. Use tags that are relevant to your content to increase discoverability. And then step five, engage with the Medium community. Comment on other people's articles, follow writers in your niche, and this is gonna increase your visibility on the platform. Now a pro tip here is to create a series of articles that align with your YouTube content. For example, if you have a video series on your channel, write an accompanying article for each video. This creates multiple entry points for potential viewers. And remember, the goal is to provide value on Medium that leads readers to want more from you, which they can get by subscribing to your YouTube channel. And even if only a small percentage of your Medium readers convert to YouTube subscribers or even viewers, that's still a lot of growth for your channel. Now, if you're finding these tips helpful, why not share this video with a fellow creator who could benefit? Sharing is caring after all. Next is going to be LinkedIn. And this one is actually really good, especially for certain niches. Now, I know what you're thinking, Shane, isn't LinkedIn just for job hunting? Not anymore, my friends. LinkedIn has become a content powerhouse, especially for professional and educational content. And if your YouTube channel covers anything related to career development, business, or professional skills, then LinkedIn can be a goldmine. Now, let me share a quick success story. Mark Warnikin, a social media trainer, managed to double his YouTube subscribers in just six weeks using LinkedIn. And he used a mix of strategies from posting video links directly to his timeline, to sharing thumbnails with links in the comments, and even uploading native videos to LinkedIn. And the key was diversifying his approach and consistently engaging with his LinkedIn network about his YouTube content. Now let's break down how to use LinkedIn effectively. Step one, optimize your profile. Update your LinkedIn profile to highlight your YouTube channel and expertise. Step two, share your content strategically. Post your YouTube videos in various formats, direct links, native uploads, and image posts with links in the comments. Step three, engage with your network. Comment on others' posts and respond to comments on your own posts to increase visibility. Step four, utilize LinkedIn's features. Use LinkedIn articles, groups, and your company page, if applicable, to reach a wider audience. Step five, connect and invite. As you connect with new people, politely invite them to check out your YouTube channel. And a pro tip here is to experiment with different posting styles and times to see what works best for your audience. LinkedIn's algorithm favors native content, so mix in direct video uploads along with your YouTube links. And remember, the goal is to provide value on LinkedIn. And that entices people to check out your YouTube channel for more in-depth content. Consistency and engagement are key to making this strategy work. All right, so the next one is going to be one that almost nobody knows about, and that is SlideShare. Now, you've probably never even heard of SlideShare, but this is an often forgotten platform owned by LinkedIn, and it can be a secret weapon for driving views to your channel. So this is a really interesting story. Donna Moritz, a social media strategist, shared how she got over 650,000 views on her content with just 12 slide decks and three infographics. One of her presentations alone racked up over 200,000 views and keeps growing by 5,000 to 10,000 views every month. And the beauty of SlideShare is its longevity. The content keeps working for you for months, even years after you post it. Plus it's owned by LinkedIn, so your presentations get extra visibility on the professional network. Now here's the kicker. Less than 15% of marketers are using SlideShare. That means there's a huge opportunity for you to stand out and get featured. And SlideShare's team hand curates content to showcase, giving you even even more potential for visibility. Now let's break down how to use SlideShare effectively. Step one, create compelling presentations. Focus on one key topic or takeaway and use engaging visuals and minimal text. Step two, optimize your title in the first few slides to grab attention with a great hook. Remember, you can't add a call to action in the first three slides. Step three, include clear calls to action. Direct viewers to your YouTube channel or website. Place CTAs high up away from navigation buttons. Step four, leverage SlideShare's features. So use their creator hub for tips and tools and consider their monthly upload campaigns for extra visibility. Step five, promote your SlideShare content. Share on other platforms, especially LinkedIn, and embed presentations into relevant 
different blog posts. Now, a pro tip here is to repurpose your existing content. So turn blog posts, video scripts, or podcast episodes into slide presentations, and you don't need to start from scratch. Remember, SlideShare is about visual storytelling, so make each slide interesting enough to encourage viewers to keep clicking through. And who knows, your presentation might just be the next one to hit hundreds of thousands of views. Now, before we move to the next one, I'm curious, which of these secret websites has got your gears turning? Is it the untapped potential of SlideShare or maybe the professional powerhouse of LinkedIn? Drop a comment below and let me know which strategy you're itching to try first. Now, the next one is probably one you've thought about, but it's honestly really good, and that is Facebook groups. And you can either promote in other people's Facebook groups, or in some cases, even better, would be to make your own. We're talking about creating and nurturing your own community. And here's why it works. I recently heard about a gaming YouTuber who used niche Facebook groups to skyrocket their initial subscriber count. They didn't just drop links, they shared screenshots, asked engaging questions, and really connected with their target audience. Now imagine having that kind of engagement in a group you control. So for instance, if you are a YouTuber and you cover a specific game that almost nobody else covers, that would be a perfect opportunity for you to make a Facebook group about that game. And that's the power of creating your own Facebook group. It's about building a community where you set the rules and you foster the kind of engagement that can supercharge your channel's growth. So let's break down how to use Facebook groups effectively. Step one, create your own group. Start a Facebook group focused on your YouTube channel's niche. For example, remote work strategies with Shane Hummus or side hustle mastermind. Step two, optimize your group. Create a compelling group description that includes keywords related to your content. Set clear rules that encourage engagement and discourage spam. Step three, provide exclusive value. Share content that's not available on your YouTube channel. This could be quick tips, behind the scenes looks, or early access to video topics. Step four, foster community engagement. Poise questions, create polls, and encourage members to share their own experiences. The more engaged your community, the more likely they are to check out your YouTube content. Step five, host live Q&A sessions. Use Facebook Live within your group to answer questions and provide value. During the live, direct viewers to specific YouTube videos for more in-depth information. Step six, share your YouTube content strategically. When you post a new YouTube video, create a discussion post in your group about the topic. Encourage members to watch the video and return to discuss their thoughts. Step seven, collaborate with group members. Feature success stories from your group in your YouTube videos. This cross promotion encourages group members to watch your videos and YouTube viewers to join your group. Now a pro tip here is to create a weekly or monthly thread where members can share their own content or ask for feedback. This builds goodwill and keeps members coming back to the group more regularly. Now you can also do many of these things in other Facebook groups, but just make sure that you're giving value before you ask for any value because you're probably gonna get kicked out of the group if you don't. Now some honorable mentions are going to be Discord and Twitter. These both can be really good for promoting your channel as well and driving traffic to YouTube. But if you wanna know how I make six figures a month on YouTube and really like a deep dive on exactly how I do that, I did make a video on that and you can check that out by clicking right here.